to Art 2427. Today uh, we're going to look at this painting which I've done. Um, my name's Andre uh, and this is uh, one of my paintings uh, and it's called Faith Comes by Hearing. Um, it's based on two scriptures from the Bible. The first one is found in the book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 4 and then the other scripture is in the New Testament uh, and it's in the uh, it's St Paul's letter to the Romans chapter 10 verse 17. Both of those scriptures talk about faith um, coming by hearing. The one in Genesis doesn't actually mention that phrase at all but what happens in that whole episode that's recorded there is if you're familiar with the story of the Garden of Eden and the temptation of Eve, Satan, in the form of a serpent, comes and he, uh, he, he tempts Eve and he speaks to her. And in that particular verse, verse 4, he says something to her. God has said something to Adam about the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and that he shouldn't eat the fruit of it he's got nothing to do with it he should uh, he's given him this command satan comes in the form of the serpent and he has this dialogue with eve and um, eve tells or answers the devil uh, says no we, we, we can't eat of that tree uh, because God said we'll, the moment we eat of it we'll die but in verse 4 the devil lies to her and tells her that you shall not surely die now it's an outright lie but the thing is she hears that and she believes it and then we have the awful event, uh, events that follow on from that she takes, she looks at the fruit, um, she takes it, she eats it and uh, gives some to Adam, he does the same uh, and we have this whole uh, terrible thing of the, that's called the fall, the fall of man into sin, the fall of mankind into sin. Now that all comes about by someone hearing and believing, faith comes by hearing. And then the scripture that's in uh, Romans chapter 10 verse 17 actually states that, that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. So this painting represents this. Um, this shape here obviously is a, is, is a kind of ear. It's an abstract painting. It's not an actual ear, but it's in the the kind of rough shape of an ear and um, there are two defined regions one is here inside the ear and one is here outside the ear and they're both very different from each other what you have outside of the ear are these various different regions um, these different uh, areas and um, they're all pretty much the same they're all pretty much the same they're the kind of uh, they're all pretty much the same um, what would I say, the same palette of colours or the same groupings of colours. There's, there's greens and, and yellows and browns uh, and, uh, and some darker blues and things like that. So they're all, they're all, they're all pretty much of a, of, a, of a similarity. So that's what's outside. Um, of the person's hearing. 
but there are there are areas of difference so there are lots of different messages there are lots of different things uh, being said but they're basically all in the same kind of category outside they're outside of the ear there are there are different messages there are different words different things being spoken but they're all outside of the ear now when it comes to inside the ear you'll notice it's very very different the colors are in, in, in stark contrast to what uh, is outside of the ear. This represents what's actually gone into the person, what the person has, uh, is, is, uh, has heard and therefore internalised and believed. So this, this represents this business of faith, faith coming by hearing and hearing the thing that the person hears and then they, they, they internalize and we look at these different regions here these are particles of faith these are different aspects of of what the person actually believes they're different areas of faith from what they've heard outside these are belief systems now everybody has these belief systems everybody has these things a lot of these things are a person's worldview and the person's worldview is not um, a predetermined thing that the person is born with um, look at this region here for example it's highly complex this has been established over time by life experiences and the hearing of the elements that surround that life experiences most of this come most of these things that have established the person's worldview the person's faith basis have come via this sense and uh, they're deeply deeply embedded and deeply complex inside a person this for example could represent something like um, a, a belief system like uh, you're walking down the street and you don't expect to be eaten by a dinosaur or you go out your front door and you don't expect to be struck down by a meteorite for example that that is just a a thing that you don't think about but it is part of your belief system and you have learned that you weren't born with that you've actually absorbed that somehow most of this faith comes by hearing and um, unfortunately in the case of, uh, of uh, Eve and Adam they heard something and they believed that and that led to consequences uh, and that led to consequences for us all but um, on the uh, on the flip side of that we have this wonderful scripture in Romans chapter 10 verse 17 that, that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Christ so all of this belief system in here is subject to change but it's not by philosophy, human reasoning, or intellectual input or study. It is by um, the word of Christ. It takes the power and the word of Christ to actually overcome a lot of these uh, embedded beliefs and bring about change and bring about um, a, a completely new... Uh, set of um, uh, uh, an incomplete internalized identity and world view so no longer is the world view uh, dominated by all these uh, uh, external factors there, are, there is a renewal inside that has gone on 
there are new elements that have come into place there are new parts that are uh, that have been established and that are, are beginning to grow and and what i've done with this painting is there, there's quite a lot of impasto so especially this little area here it's as you can see it's heavily impastoed um, which is like a new uh, growth of faith that's been uh, absorbed and heard and it started to grow um, and be renewed so that's what this painting is all about faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Christ and um, the message of it is whatever you're hearing you may put your faith in that so what are you hearing are you hearing what's all of these other messages out here and are they being absorbed and internalized and becoming your worldview or are you hearing the word of christ uh, is that um, bringing about uh, new change and new growth that's the, the question that's what this painting represents faith comes by hearing and hearing um, by the word of Christ these two scriptures uh, that are in the Bible so um, hope you enjoyed that uh, thanks for for watching and listening uh, and until the next time thanks a lot bye